Donald Trump's got a bit of a problem down here in the state of Florida as he awaits his arraignment later today, because last we checked, he doesn't have a legal team that is capable of representing him for an official arraignment. Donald Trump has been frantically calling Florida lawyers for the last few days only to get rejection after rejection. So why does that matter? Well, first off, it's kind of funny. And of course I'm going to talk about it. I have spent, you know, a year at this point mocking Donald Trump's legal team, talking about how horrible they are. You think I'm going to pass this story up? You're kidding yourselves. But secondly, and this is the actual real important reason is because Donald Trump has to have an actual attorney in the state of Florida represent him or else the arraignment cannot happen today. Now, Trump would still show up and surrender himself and all of that, but the official arraignment cannot take place unless Donald Trump has a Florida lawyer on that team. Now, I don't know why that is, right? That does seem a little weird, but apparently that is the rule, that is the law. So if he doesn't have a licensed Florida defense attorney there with him, they will have to postpone the arraignment. So what's the holdup, right? Why not just go through the yellow pages and God, I'm dating myself with that reference, but just, just find a lawyer, call them up, go to your little local mini mall and find one of those guys. If you have to, they don't have to represent, represent you through the whole thing, just basically for the arraignment. And then you can kick them to the curb. Problem is everybody's turning him down. According to reports, Donald Trump has been making those phone calls only to get rejection after rejection after rejection. Let me read you a couple of quotes from the lawyers who have turned down Donald Trump's offer to be his latest lawyer. One of them said, the problem is none of us want to work for the guy. He's a nightmare client. I don't disagree with you on that. I mean, I've basically been saying that for the last year and every lawyer knows that like you don't want to take on a client that you know is not going to listen to any of your legal advice. That's going to make you the lawyer, the counsel look like a complete incompetent buffoon when you go into court. So no lawyer wants to take on that risk because there is literally no reward for it. Another lawyer who allegedly turned down Donald Trump said this, uh, I would love to do it. I think the case is weak, but my wife would divorce me and my kids wouldn't talk to me if I defended Donald Trump. So even the ones who are like, oh yeah, I totally could do it. Totally weak case. But you know, my wife would be angry and my kids would never talk to me. Now I think that's BS. I think this is a lawyer trying to act big and tough, like, oh, I can totally do it. I think that's a pretty weak case, but, uh, you know, the, the little lady doesn't want me to do it. And you know, I'm not going to go against her wishes. I'm a family guy after all. No, you know that this is an actually very strong case. Donald Trump's former lawyers, the one who recently quit Tim Parlatori said, wow, this is a pretty strong case. Donald Trump's own handpicked attorney general, William Barr said, wow, this is a strong case. He said the evidence is damning or the indictment is damning. Excuse me. So yeah, good luck, Donald. Whoever you do find, I can guarantee is either not going to be somebody who's qualified to defend you, or you're going to end up with another person like Alina Haba, who by the way, I still believe is not qualified to defend him. You're going to end up with somebody who's basically hungry for the media, hungry for the press. They want to make a name for themselves, whether they win or lose, they win because they'll become a household name just like Alina Haba. But I think we ought to hearken back to that warning that I talked about yesterday that Trump's former lawyers are out there saying, and that is if you follow the guy's advice, you're either going to end up sanctioned or disbarred or possibly even both. And I think that is probably the biggest thing weighing on the minds of those potential lawyers who Donald Trump is calling. It's not that you know the case is strong and you can't win. It's not that you just don't want to deal with a client you can't control. I think the biggest thing these lawyers are all worried about is they themselves don't want to get implicated in any criminal activity. And that's why they're not returning his phone calls. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.